Friday, February 2nd. Hmm. Now, in the back of the paint shop yard, back there right between uh, the railroad tracks and Route 59, there was uh, where a groundhog lived, dug into the bank, a little groundhog den. And, uh, you know, being a slow lumbering animal, it was amazing that this groundhog did not get clobbered by cars on Route 59 or trains on the tracks, but uh, no, he stayed there quite a while. And on uh, Groundhog Day, February 2nd, 1964, Uncle Mal went to the back there to see uh, what the groundhog was doing. And he had Mike the shop dog with him. Mike Mike wasn't a varmint dog, didn't chase rabbits or groundhogs or anything, pretty much got along with everybody. So uh, Mal and Mike, they went back there and they went to the den, to the groundhog den, and, and he wasn't out. And uh, and maybe he'd been out, maybe Mal missed him, but Mal and Mike clearly saw their own shadow. So when Groundhog comes out, Ramapo Phil, he called him, when he comes out, he would see it. So Mal pretty much took that and, and, and walked back just as Dad, uh, Walt, and I came in from uh, church service. It was a Sunday morning that year. And uh, we got out of the truck and Mal and Mike were walking up and he said, well, I went back to check on Ramapo Phil. But he wasn't out, but Mike and I, we seen our shadow. So uh, we know what's gonna happen. I said, what's gonna happen? Oh, well, we're gonna get six more weeks of winter. Really? Is that what it means? Well, sure it does. You see your shadow on, uh, on Groundhog Day, you're gonna get more winter. If you don't see your shadow, you're gonna have an early spring. Really, does that work? Oh, hell, you might as well be asking me, uh, uh, did Washington sh uh, chop down a cherry tree? Did he? Oh, good, good Lord. Don't, I, I don't understand. Don't, don't those, uh, those A&P history books that your mother keeps buying you, don't, don't they teach you anything? Mal was right. They really don't, don't teach me much. See, here, there's some of these books right here. And like, I didn't know why they called him Ramapo Phil. And Mal said, well, that's because in Pennsylvania, they got a Punxsutawney Phil in a little place called Punxsutawney. So we got Ramapo Phil. And, and why did they call him Phil? Well, he's named after King Philip. You mean we had a king? Oh, God. You know, I don't think those A&P uh, uh, books are, are any good for you. Well, th they were good, but, but they did leave out a few things, yeah. I, I didn't learn anything about Ramapo Phil in my American Heritage series. No. Well, we'll do another one tomorrow. See you then.